as we have discussed in class, the golden ratio or the golden mean or the Fibonacci sequence is found throughout nature. Artists, designers, architects, they've been using it throughout history to create visually interesting designs. What it does is it creates that asymmetrical balance. And something about it, the human mind, or the human eye, finds visually appealing. So here is, in this template, which you can download in the mission, um, you have, you'll have a couple layers. You'll even have more than this. I just streamlined it for the tutorial. But you have the rectangles, right? Really kind of a foundation for graphic design are these rectangles. And what it is, it's kind of a two-third to one-third. Not quite, but essentially a two-third to one-third. It creates that asymmetrical balance, like top to bottom here, or left and right. Um, you can spin this, right? It doesn't have to be up and down. It can even be the other way, like if I were to um, take my selection tool and, oops, there we go, selection tool and spin this, right? It, it can also be that way. It can be um, landscape if we rotated the whole canvas. I'm going to switch it back. But what you'll notice is this is a more complex kind of way, and you can Google it, look through the examples to create visual interest, asymmetrical balance. If I turn on the curves, then you can see how this curve, that golden spiral comes in, and again, you can control the flow of your message. But when you're starting out, all of this can be kind of complicated. So if we come over to this other tab, I have an 11 by 17 document. I'm going to show you how to create a very basic kind of grid based on the Fibonacci sequence, based on the golden ratio. So this is what we want to do. We want to take underneath the line tool, we're going to hold down on the line segment tool. We want to choose the rectangular grid tool. Then I want to just click anywhere on my canvas like that and the rectangular grid tool option menu is going to pop up and we want to create a rectangular grid the size of the artboard. This particular artboard is 11 by 17 inches. All right. So if you don't have a new document in Illustrator, please open one up. Make sure it's 11 by 17 inches and I'm just going to change this to 11 by 17 so that the grid will be the same size of the artboard and I want one horizontal divider and one whoops one vertical design uh, divider and if you recall the Fibonacci sequence is 1.618 and then a bunch of numbers after that kind of like pi what that breaks down to percentage wise for our dividers is 61.8 remember it's 1.618 so that breaks down to 61.8 for the ratio or the percentage of our dividers. And I'm going to click OK. It's going off screen. Yours might be in a slightly different spot. You want to take the selection tool and up here on your toolbar, make sure align to artboard is checked. And then we want to center and center. And it's going to get us lined up. Now you'll notice this is a very simplified version of this without all the extra marks in there. Typically, from Western society, when we create a layout or a design, we read top to bottom, left to right. So maybe having the focal interest down here in the bottom right might not be the best spot. So what we can do is Command A, and we can rotate this, right? I can hold Shift to kind of constrain it to 45 degree angles and I can do something like that. Now if I take my ellipse tool and I'm going to switch, whoops, let me click off first and click off in the gray here. I'm going to take my ellipse tool, switch my fill to black and then if this were a design I could be creating my focal point right there where that intersection is, right? Um, Right now, let me get rid of that. Let's turn this into a grid, just so you can see how to make it a grid. Right now, it's just lines. Let's select it all, Command A. We're gonna come up to View, Guides, Make Guides. All right, 
what I would then do is if I were to start a document, I'd call layer one guides because this is what we created the guides on. I would lock it and then you can turn them on or off. And then you create your design like a new layer. For example, then if I took my point of emphasis, right, and then I can have my kind of asymmetrical thing like that. Or if I take rectangle tool, for example, a way that this might look interesting, take my rectangle tool. If I'm laying out a composition, I might have a large image or type of color down in the bottom portion like that. Let me turn the guides off and then something else up here and that would create balance that way. Or I get rid of that rectangle and we can do it up here, right? We can take an image, right? I'm just going to use a rectangle again, but you can get the idea that that can be an image. And then from this side, whoops, and that side we have some asymmetrical balance. So that is a very basic way to set up a golden rectangle to lay out for your poster designs or other compositions. Um, you can also, if you want, download the grid or download the template and use the more complex grid and use that as a basis for your grid outline.